you guys wrangler here and we're doing a part two on this idiot that i discovered earlier he's going he's a james freeman fan and he goes under the the channel freedom port news now i like i said i didn't know about this guy until i started checking emails this morning and another shout out to ryan the gamer 395 who has just been sending me all kinds of great material but this idiot just got trespassed from a post office and when I tell you that this guy is dumb, I mean, he makes Jeremetha and BSBT look smart. Yeah, that's kind of depressing, isn't it? But anyway, so he's been bounced from the post office. He was like a hair's breadth away from getting arrested because he doesn't know what in the holy hell he's talking about. And he didn't even seem to do proper research into frauditing before he got into it. He just watched some YouTube shit and like, oh, I'll go do that. Let me get my cell phone. Well, now he's pissed and he's going to go try to complain on the officer that obeyed the law and trespassed his dumb ass. It's not going to go his way. Kills me how all these guys have these damn high dollar gimbal rigs and he lives in his mom's basement. Yes, sir, I'm Sergeant Wright. Huh. What was your name again? Sergeant Wright. And your badge number? 3347. Yes, I was at the post office working on an article about their $107 billion. Uh, okay. So I they were just getting with taxpayer money. Oh, Lord. Um, okay, we'll go ahead and start there. Nope, they make their money off postage, moron. And you weren't doing an article. You were just recording children in a post office. And I say children, I mean young children. I skipped past it in my video because that's just not right. And they called and had me trespassed. Yes, they did. I've got rules and regulations that I'm allowed to be there. Is that a law? We're starting off great with some more frauded or myth and lore. He's saying that he cannot be trespassed from public property unless he commits a crime. I guess he pulled that straight off the fucking Chili website, didn't he? Yes, you can, you freaking moron. Because you were trespassing on government property. Federal government property. And whatever municipal ordinance you just attempted to pull out has probably been revamped. And redone 20 times since its original concept you don't get to decide whether you've committed a crime or not that's not how that works that's not how any of this works it doesn't apply nobody's denying that the first amendment is a constitutional right they're telling you when and where you can't do it. And that is completely their prerogative since they're in charge of that federal building. North, any North Carolina court ruling would not apply because it's federal property. The state can't make the post office do a damn thing. you got to ease up on the crayons, man. Jesus Christ. So is it your policy to fuck on... Um Trespass people from public. I'm going to have to refer you to our internal affairs. Do you have the phone number for that? Nope. Um, I'm just trying to find out if it's a policy because this is twice this has happened. I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to have to refer you to our internal affairs and our attorneys. According to that ruling right there, right. twice is a um, policy. Okay. So. All right, and you're saying that it's policy that you can't be removed, that the, the department cannot remove you from the postal property. You're saying it's policy that they can't do it. I don't know what policy you're referring to, but the law says, federal law, says that they can bounce you for doing what you're doing because all you idiots that always seem to 
you want to cherry pick and choose off of poster 7, y'all never want to include the commercial applications and rules. And you always skip over that last part which says, and I quote, must, must require expressed written permission of the postmaster and or authorized representative, which would be anybody employed in that post office. So you don't understand the difference between policy and law. The way that works, the, the Postal Service, they set policies for conduct inside their buildings. You don't obey policy, you're asked to leave. If you don't leave, it's called trespassing. If the cops have to get involved, it's then criminal trespassing if you still refuse to leave. And if you make a fit and you act like a clown, then it's going to be disorderly conduct to boot. And then, even better, is if you try to resist the officer in any way, that's obstruction and possible resisting arrest charges. You know, it'd be nice if you guys would just read the laws that you're trying to try to make other people believe. It's right there. So if I go back over there to finish my report on the post office, I'm not going to be arrested? If they tell us that you've been trespassing and everything like that and been asked to leave, um, it is more likely than not that will be the case. Then I will be trespassed. I will be... No, you're already trespassed, moron. If you go back over there, you're going to be arrested for trespassing on federal property. Good. You for, I can tell you're a rookie frauditor. You forgot to ask him if his body cam was rolling. Loser. So it is policy to trespass from public property in violation of court what what I'm court rule? For you to talk to them to get a better understanding of all the circumstances. Okay. You know that's why I can come in here too, right? Because exactly. this is public. Yeah, yeah. I'm not running you off right now. Uh huh. I know, but they're running me off from the post office, which they, is public. It's federal so property. Just, there's, there's time, place, and manner for everything. Time, place, and manner. They're and, open, and it's, open it's, for business, and I was standing. No time, place, and manner. Time. When it's convenient, place on that property where they say it is. Manor, again, on that property where they say it is. In other words, if you just stayed in the damn parking lot, you would have had zero issues whatsoever because you would have been completely within your rights to stay there and film and use your, your weak-ass argument that you're a journalist when you're not. YouTube is not a recognized media publisher. Judges have ruled that having a YouTube channel does not make you a journalist. In the corner quietly. Sorry. I don't know the case. I'm not going to discuss the case with you because I don't, I'm just not, I don't, I don't have enough knowledge of it. If you want to follow through, they're the ones that can explain a little bit more of it and investigate it a little bit. Okay. So it, right. it seems to me like it is policy, so. That took away qualified immunity. Sorry, but I'm just absolutely at the point. I'm about to start losing my shit every time he tells a cop, oh, you just lost qualified immunity. No, you freaking jackass. You don't decide if they have qualified immunity or not. You just can't snap your finger because you don't like what he tells you and go, oh, there's your qualified immunity. I can sue you now. I don't like what you had to say. Well... It, you can sue him because you didn't like what he had to say. Wouldn't that be a First Amendment violation? It is up to a judge to determine whether the officer has qualified immunity. And since you haven't been arrested, you haven't been beaten, the, the, the officers have done absolutely nothing outside the scope of their job, and you have in no way been affected by it, you wouldn't even get a lawsuit past the initial judge. It would be dismissed on sight. So, yes, the officer still has qualified immunity. And no, you're an idiot. No, actually, yes, you're, you're just an idiot. And you, you need to just shut up. Go back to Taco Bell or Wendy's, wherever you met Josh Lanto. All right. 
So, they got it there. They don't do anything about it. Kind of 0 for 2 for the day, aren't you? They care nothing about our rights. You don't... Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department, University Division. They care nothing about their constitutional rights. I'm sure they care they about their... the book. Dude, you need to learn the separation of state there? and federal. Number and everything will be in the description. Now, why are you putting the number in the description? Are you advocating or suggesting that the the three morons that follow you, are you advocating that they start flood calling that specific police facility? Because that, in North Carolina, is a crime. Including the number he just gave me. Alright, so I'm going to stroll around here, take a look at it. And guys, that's where we're going to leave it because he just, he walks around and he starts filming personal vehicles and their plate numbers and I'm not putting those out. Sorry, I, I won't condone that because those are, those are privately owned vehicles and I'm not doing that. So anyway, this, we're going to get some enjoyment out of this idiot, I think, because he, I mean, he's just, he's dumb. And he doesn't really understand what he's doing. I, I don't know if he has some form of a, you know, a, a mental challenge or a, some form of an academic challenge to where, you know, he was just born stupid or worse. I don't. But he seems to think because he watched a couple of YouTube videos and saw some other people that didn't get arrested that he's going to go act a clown. And, and I, we're going to see him in cuffs before long. I doubt this will be the last we see of this freaking moron. But anyway, guys, this Wrangler, I'm out of here. Y'all, everybody have a great Monday.